Okay, let's just get this over with. Uh, among Us, I'm thinking of ending things. Funny moment. I'm thinking of ending things. Once a thought arrives, it stays. It sticks, it lingers, it dominates. There's not much I can do about it. Trust me, it doesn't go away. It's there. Whether I like it or not, it's there. When I eat, when I go to bed, it's there. When I sleep, when I wake up, it's always there. Always. I haven't been thinking about it for long. The idea is it is new, but it feels old. At the same time, when did it start? What if this thought wasn't conceived by me, but planted in my mind pre developed is an unspoken idea? Original, maybe I've actually known all along. Maybe this is how it was always going to end. Jake once said, Sometimes the thought is closer to the truth, to reality, than an action. You can say anything, but you can do anything, but you can't. Fake a thought, the road is mostly empty. It's quiet around here, vacant. More so than anticipated. Much to see, but not many people, not many buildings, or houses, sky, trees, fields, fences, the road, and its gravel shoulders. You want to stop for a coffee, I think. I'm okay, I say. Last chance we'll have before it becomes really farmy. I'm visiting Jake's parents for the first time, or... I will be when we arrive, Jake, my boyfriend. He hasn't been my boyfriend for very long. It's our first trip together, our first long drive. So it's weird, I'm feeling nostalgic about our relationship, about him, about us. I should be excited, looking forward to the first of many, but I'm not. Not at all. I've seen more barns on this drive than I've seen in years, maybe, in my life. They all look the same. Some cows, some horses, sheep fields, and barns. Such a big sky. Feels like I've known Jake longer than I have. What has it been? A oh, a month. Six weeks, maybe seven. I should know exactly. I'll say seven weeks of the assumptions are right. I can feel my fear growing. Now is the we have a real connection, a rare and intense attachment. I've never experienced anything like it. Growing now is the time for the answer. Just one question. One question to answer, it's snowing, winter is coming in, yup, look at the sky. I'm thinking of ending things, huh, what did you say, something, no I don't think so, weird, yeah. I'm thinking of ending things, what's the point in carrying on like this? I know what it is, where it's going, Jake is a nice guy, but it's not going anywhere. I've known this for a while. Now maybe it's human nature to keep going in the face of this knowledge. The alternative requires too much energy, decisiveness. Hmm, people stay in unhealthy relationships because it's easier. Basic physics, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. People tend to stay in relationships past their expiration date. It's Newton's. First law of emotion, do you want to stop for a coffee or something, a, a snack? It's it's going to get pretty far, me, it pretty fast now, no, no, I'm fine, you sure? Mm-hmm, don't want to spoil my appetite. Okay, you know my mother has been feeling well recently. Oh, so, I'm sorry, I'm just saying that there might not be much of a spread that she might not be able to up to a lot of cooking. Um, she hasn't been feel been well, what's going on with her? Just saying if you want to 
stop for a snack or something like that, it would be probably fine. Um, in terms of appetite, spoiling, it might even be advisable. I'm fine, okay, come join me, my friends, and accept Jesus into your hearts. For as Isaiah 118 tells us, though, your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They really are looking forward to meeting you. I don't want to give you the wrong impression. Aw, that's nice to hear a lot about you. Yeah, I, I'm I'm really looking forward to meeting them too. Maybe it's unfair of me to be going on this trip with Jake when I'm... So uncertain about our future, our lack of it, after all. Going to meet your boyfriend's parents is the proverbial next step. Isn't it? The truth is I haven't even told my parents I'm dating Jake. I've never mentioned him and I don't think I ever will. She hasn't been feeling well getting old, ain't for sissies. As Betty Davis said true, although one might just take issue with her use of the word to see, yeah, of course. Yeah, yes, sir. As a pejorative, it was a difficult, a different time. I guess it's curiosity. Jake is certainly hard to figure. Maybe it's like a window into his origins. The child being father of the man and all are you. A fan of Wordsworth, then Wordsworth, William Wordsworth, the poet. Um, not, I'm not too familiar, really. Why do you ask? Just thinking about him. For some reason, he popped into my head. His poem, Ode, Intimidations of Immorality, from Recollections of Early Childhood Jesus, that's the title. It sounds like an entire poem. Well, I'm thinking of get your words worth, with words worth, fired. Do you want to hear how it starts? It's just that I'm not a metaphorical type gal. It's just that one speaks to me, uh, incidentally. Words worth wrote a series of poems to a woman named Lucy, like me. A beautiful, idealized woman who dies young, oh yikes. Well, the comparison goes only as far as your name, few, and that you are ideal, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's sweet. Very sweet. It's just, who's that? Uh, it's just a friend. I'm not gonna answer. You can. I don't mind. You should. And it's okay. It's alright. I don't mind. That's odd. Did you see that swing set? We just passed. What swing set? It was weird, it was this beautiful new swing set in front of an abandoned house. No, I missed it. What? I didn't see it. Why would that be there? I mean, clearly no one's lived in that house for a year. Someone's moving in, and they brought the swing set first. That's all I can think of. I that seems like an unlikely sequence of events, you know like to have something to entertain the kids while the parents are getting the house ready. Uh, they're saying, uh, there might be a fair amount of snow. Yeah, they're predicting it. Do you think we should maybe turn back? I've got a fair amount of, well, a lot actually of work to do tomorrow. I need to get home tonight so that I, I think we'll be okay, I've got tire chains in the trunk. What are you working on? Oh, I have a paper due Wednesday. Which one is this susceptibility to rabies infection in the sensorial dorsal root ganglia neurons, the trigeminal ganglia as well, right? Yes, exactly. Point for me. Interested in my not in and knowledgeable about my girlfriend's work. Point for Jake. How's the paper going? Oh, it's nowhere. Actually, I really do need to get back tonight. Deal with it first thing. I'll get you home. Change, change. Yeah, I do like Jake. And he's educated. Our fields are different. 
But he's curious and keeps up. That's a good thing. It's in the pro column. And he's cute in his awkward way. We're interesting together too. People look at us when we're together. Who's that couple? I don't get looked at alone. And Jake doesn't either. Jake tells me that he feels it. Feels invincible. Invisible. You want to listen to something? Sorry, on what? Um, I asked if you want to listen to some music. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. When you get out this far, there's not much signal. It's an odd song to out here in the in the middle of nothing. It's from Oklahoma, the musical. I didn't know you were a fan of musical theater. Well, I'm not really anyway. I just know a few musicals. Uh, Oklahoma, Phantom, Carousel, South Pacific, Guys and Dolls, Flower Drum Song, Wicked. How to succeed in business without really trying. Music Man, Pajama Game. Cabaret, The Lion King, Grease, The King, and I, The Sound of Music, Pad Joey, Charlie's Aunt on the Town, My Fair Lady, but I know Oklahoma best, I guess. They do it every few years, for obvious reasons, wait, who does it? Every few years, every time I see kids who were in the past productions, you know, um, at the supermarket, working at the stores, in town. Older now, the girl seems healthy enough in her attitude. Good for her, she's she's protesting too much, it turns out. We've all been there, where? Protesting too much, how okay is everything is? That's why I don't like road trips. It's good to remind yourself the world's larger than the inside of your own head. You know, mm-hmm, perspective. Perspective, it is beautiful out here. In a bleak, heartbroken kind of way. What was the last road trick I took? Hmm, I should remember, but I don't. Nothing's coming to mind. It's odd, I'm foggy about so many things. Lately, do you like this type of landscape? Hmm, yeah, it's beautiful. It's melancholy. I do like that it's a poet in you. Yeah, I suppose so, maybe. I don't know you've been working on anything. Oh, I, I, I just finished something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Can I hear it? You can read it. I like to hear them in your voice and you're so good at reciting them. Not really, but thanks. I'll go with the poetic scenery. I don't know, Jake. I just don't, I don't really feel like performing right now, come on, it'll pass the time, I don't want you to get bored. It's called Bone Dog Coming Home. It's terrible whether the dogs lick your face or not, whether you have a wife or just a wife-shaped loneliness waiting for you. Coming home is terribly lonely. So that you think of the oppressive barometric pressure. Back where you have just come from With fondness Because everything's worse once you're home You think of The vermin clinging to the grass stalks long Hours on the road Roadside assistance and ice creams And the peculiar shapes of certain clouds and silences With longing be Because you did not want to return Coming home is just awful and the home style silences and clouds contribute to nothing but the general malaise. Clouds such as they are artifact, suspect, and made from a different material than those you left behind you yourself were cut from a different cloud, the cloth returned remaindered ill met by moonlight unhappy to be back slack in all the wrong spots see me suit of clothes dish rag ratty worn you return home moon landed for and the earth's gravitational pull and effort now redoubled dragging your 
shoelaces loose and your shoulders etching deeper. The stanza of worry on your forehead, your return home deepened. A parched well linked to tomorrow by a frail strand of any way you sigh into the onslaught of identical days one might as well at a time well anyway you've come back the sun goes up and down like a tired whore the weather immobile like a broken limb while you just keep getting older nothing moves but the shifting tides of salt in your body, your vision, blears you carry your weather with you. The big blue whale, a skeleton darkness, you come back with x-ray vision. Your eyes have become a hunger. You come home with your mutant gifts to a house of bone. Everything you see now, all of it bone. Wow, well, wow is an all-purpose exclamation. I just... Realize that it might be, it can, it can mean you loved it, or it can mean there are no words to describe how, how rubbish it is. I love it, I love it, it's amazing, it's, it's, like, it's, like you wrote it about me, oh, you know, I, 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 I guess that's one what home's for when writing a poem, what's that, some universality in the specific, I don't know. It's like you wrote it about me. I'm thinking of any things. Jake is really great. He's really sweet. He's sensitive. And he listens to me. And he's smart. But there's just something ineffable. Profoundly unutterable. Unfixably wrong here. Are you okay? Yeah. You just seem sort of far away. Is all I'm just thinking about what uh, I don't know. Just vague in my head stuff, vague in your head stuff. I guess I was thinking about time, really, yeah. Like we're on a train and it takes us where it takes us. There's no veering off, there's no side trips. And like Mussolini's train, it runs on time, but that's not really true about Mussolini and trains. The improvements in the railway system... Preceded him, he just took the credit. And even still, they didn't always run on time. I wasn't really talking about Mussolini's train. And anyway, you can always jump off a train in movies. In real life, you'll probably die jumping from a moving train. That's, that's very true. I suppose I watched too many movies. Hmm, everybody does sociality. Miladies fill my brain with lies to pass the time in the blink of an eye and an eye blink in excruciating slow motion it's like the rabies virus attaching itself to our ganglia changing us into itself viruses are monstrous everything Want to live, Jake? Viruses are just one more example of everything. But even fake crappy movie ideas want to live like they grow in your brain, replacing real ideas. That's what makes them dangerous. But did you know there are insects that blow themselves up? Yes, not everything wants to live. There are certain ants, certain aphids for the good of their community, there are suicide bombers, come join me, so not everything wants to live, right, true, well, they, they want their communities to live, which is sort of like themselves writ large, anyway, we don't really know if they want anything, it's just more likely how they're programmed, maybe we're all programmed, right, and we're both dead, Ta-da, so, uh, I'm not, I'm not ready to go in. I, I need to stretch my legs, long legs, long drive. What, what, isn't that rude? She clearly knows we're here. We've been waving at each other for quite a long time. They know I like to stretch my legs. Come on, all. 
show you around, Jake. It, I don't know. It's it's cold. It's and it's getting dark. Come on, come on. I'll give you the abridged tour. Maybe we'll come back in the spring and we can lie out here and look up at the universe. The sheep. Let's say hi, hi sheep, hi sheep. There's something dreary and sad in here, and it smells. I wonder what it must like to be a sheep. Spend one's entire life in this miserable, smelly place, doing nothing, eating, pooping, sleeping, over and over. Well, there you have it. The sheep, what happened to the lambs? What, what will happen? I don't know what you're asking me. They're already dead, so uh, what else can happen to them? Well, I mean, they'll probably be buried, probably be burned come spring, but they're frozen solid for now, so they're fine. No worries, come on, I'll show you the old pen where we used to keep the pigs. They had to put them down, that's too bad. Rotten situation the pigs life isn't always pretty on a farm something you should know so what what happened to them to the pigs forget it uh i don't think you like the story can't do that you have to tell me now yeah yes jesus okay well um my dad hasn't been in to check on the pigs for a few days my parents we're busy, he just tossed their food into the pen, but after a few days, he noticed that they were all just lying in this corner all the time, so he went in to check on them. They didn't look well, he decided he'd better try to move them, and they're heavy, they're pigs, right? Yes, but yeah, he he finally managed to move one and discovered its entire underside was filled with maggots both pigs were being eaten alive life can be brutal on a farm should we go inside it's getting cold everything has to die that's the truth one likes to think that there is always hope that you can live above death and it's a uniquely human fantasy that things will get better born, perhaps of the uniquely human understanding that things will not, there's no way to know for certain, but I suspect humans are the only animals that know the inevitability of their own deaths, other animals live in the present. Humans cannot, so they invented hope. Hello, hello, I'm here, we're here, hello, hello, it's Jake. Hello, hello, we'll be right down, okay, so do you want slippers? I, floors are cold here, old houses, will you hold this, please? Yeah, yeah, thanks, I think, um, they'll be big on you. They're my old ones, but they're warm. Ah, uh, voila, none for you, no, 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 you should have these, these are yours, oh no, what kind of gentleman would that make me my slippers, are your slippers, you sure, I am, um, have a seat, they'll be right down, music sure, so the bedrooms are upstairs, not much else, oh uh, my, Mom, sewing room, bedroom, linen closet, um, I can show you after we eat. If you like, it's not fancy as you can see, it's nice, I like it, yeah, yes. Reminds me of the house I grew up in, I suppose. All farmhouses are alike, like all happy families, I'm not sure. Toy Story. Got that one right, happiness in a family is as nuanced as unhappiness. Well, I think he was talking about marriage. I hear they come. I'll just get a fire going in the meantime. Your parents knew we were coming, right? I mean, they 
invited us, and all invitations sounds a little formal for my family. But yeah, of course we communicated, okay? Cool, hmm. The fire feels good, cozy, what's in there? The basement, oh I see. We keep it mostly, close off mostly. Cause old houses tend to be drafty, right? Anyway, the basement is unfinished, a hole in the ground. Really a hole in the ground, just what a heater. Washer and dryer, stuff like that. We don't use it for really anything else. Okay, so it's a waste of space. I hate the basement. If you really want to know you have intense feelings about it, you you know when you're a kid, a basement are scary. Well, we didn't have one growing up in an apartment. But watching the scary movies, you get the idea. Don't look down in the basement. Oh, whoa. Exactly. He's hiding in there. Shh. Who, what? Um, the, what are those scratches on the door? Dog. From the dog, mostly. I, I love dogs. I didn't know your parents have a dog. I usually can tell when there's a dog in someone's house. Toys lying around and my folks are tidy. Well, where is it? What? What kind? What's its name? So many questions, uh, Jimmy. He's a border collie, probably outside. Or, oh, hi, Jimmy, hi. Oh, he's all wet, that's, ah. Uh, here they come, oh, oh, ah. Uh. Was the drive okay? Yeah, fine. Oh, so glad to meet you, Louisa. Oh, Jake has told us so much about you. Oh, he's told me so much about both of you, too. Oh, and you came anyway. Hi. Well, let's eat all the food. We'll be as cold as a witch's boob in a brass brazier. Oh, it smells great. I hope you're hungry, all homemade. Everything you see on the table is from the farm. Looks lovely. So Jake tells us you're a painter. Yes, Jake tells you correctly I really don't know much about art but I like pictures where you know what you're looking at what's it called a uh, abstract I don't get that I could do abstract smear some paint on what's it called canvas I think it's a con job if you ask me I like paintings that looked like photographs. I couldn't do that in a million years. That is talent. Why not just take a photograph, Dad? If you like photographs, it's much quicker and photographs look exactly like photographs. I like photographs, mostly sport photographs. What kind of paintings do you make, Lucy? Oh, well, I'm not an abstract artist, so that's in my favor. Good, you see, that's exactly my point. You see, good, I, I do mostly landscape, like outside paintings. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. plan air, which is outdoor painting. I try to capture the feel of light. And atmosphere. That sounds lovely. Jake used to paint. To, of course, Mom. He worked really hard at it. Aw, oh, I didn't know that. He was very good, Ma. Aw. I try to imbue my work with the sort of interiority. Interiority, so you paint inside well inside my head. So a landscape would attempt to express how I feel at the time. Lonely, joyous, worried, sad. That sounds very interesting, like that painting of that girl sitting in a field looking at a horse. Christina's world with... Yes, exactly. But without people. Uh, how can a picture of a field be sad without a sad person? Looking sad in the field. 
that's an interesting problem. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I struggle with that. Uh, well, I have some pictures of my work if you'd like to see them. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, uh, these here. Mm -mm. Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. I mean, they're pretty, but I don't see how it's supposed to make me feel something if there's not a person in them feeling something if there's not a person in them feeling sad or joyous or whatever other emotion you said. Well, m maybe think of yourself as the person looking out as the scene. I'd have to see me in them. Well, if you were there, you wouldn't see yourself right well. I would if I looked down. I'm not a ghost yet. I can attest to that. Especially in the bedroom. I mean, but if you were there looking out at it without looking down, you'd, you'd see the scene. And you'd feel something, anything, an environment makes you feel is about you. Not the environment, right? None of, none of the feeling is inherent to the place of that's over my head I guess they are pretty though you're ta very talented thank you I like the colors thanks Piss Jake you didn't tell us that your girlfriend was so talented I did actually uh, anyway uh I mean Sometimes I thought I would have thought because uh, so Jake tells me you're studying quantum Physics at the university. Yes physics really. Yeah, that's Unusual for a girl, isn't it? Yes, it is actually I'm just asking a little less so these days which I think is a good thing Well after seventh grade I couldn't understand what Jake was saying, so it's wonderful he has someone he can share all his ideas with. Jake tells us there's been a lot of famous husband and wife physicists. Ooh, dad. Yeah, well, I guess there have been some up here. And Mary Curie's shared a Nobel Prize in physics. Well, even I've heard of them. Well, I've heard of her anyway. Radiation, uh, radioactivity, radium. Yes, I am so glad Jake has found someone. Won't you please tell us the story of how you met? Jake has refused. I love romantic meeting stories. Like in Forget Paris, Billy Crystal. I didn't like that movie. Billy Crystal is a Nancy. Um, so... Uh, I went with a friend to a bar near campus, and it turned out to be trivia night. Oh, I love this so far. Jake is crazy about trivia. We used to play the Genius Edition of, of the, we used to play the Genius Edition, Genus, we used to play the Genius Edition, Genus of Trivial Pursuit. What? It's the Genus Edition. Oh, I always thought the word was genius. I've been saying it wrong all these years. Goes to show I'm no genus. That's a good one. No, no, no. Genus is not the same as genius. A genus is a category. I always thought it was the Genius Edition. I told everyone he knew every answer in the Genius Edition. I was very proud of that. Why didn't we get the Genius? There is no Genius Edition. Okay, so Jake was with his trivia team, and my friend and I found an empty table near him. I 
was watching him because you thought he was cute. Yeah, I did. And he was very serious about the game, which I found, I don't know, charming. And, oh, his team was called Brezhnev's Eyebrows. Brezhnev's Eyebrows, right. I asked who Brezhnev was, basically, so I could say something to him. And he told me that Brezhnev was a Soviet engineer and the general of the, uh, the section head of the secretary of the Communist Party during the age of starvation, stagnation, stag nation. Anyway, those teen names drive me nuts. Usually, they all have the most teams show offy, but I don't know. It didn't bother me so much with Jake, I guess. Uh, it didn't let me because I thought he was cute. Aw, uh, he is cute, isn't he? So I, I, I was trying to get the nerve to talk to him because even though he looked over at me more than once, it was clear he wasn't going to say anything. I thought you said you were talking about Brezhnev. Uh, yes, it's true. But we didn't talk anymore after that. I guess is what I meant. Oh, so I said s something stupid like, You guys seem to be doing well. And I had to practically yell it. It was so noisy. And Jake, Jake raised his glass and went, Well, yeah. Well, we're hopefully fortified. And I laughed, which broke the ice and i think he was egged on by my laughing because he went on to tell me that he was a crook verbalist verbalist and i didn't know what it meant what that meant but i i didn't want to admit that so i just said cool cool and he was showing off again and poor lee and i thought this guy is awkward he has no game at all, and there was something sort of peeling about that. But then he kept going, and he told me that he wanted his team named to be Ipsity. And I was like, ugh, so you didn't like him anymore? No, I did. I just wanted that stuff to stop, so I told him, you know... I don't know that word, why don't you just cut the crap and he said something like, I'm an a-hole, I'm not very good at talking to people, and ipsity is just another word for selfhood, anyway, after that, he talked like a normal person, and he was funny, and I could see he wanted to ask for my number but was shy i was getting up to go my girlfriend wanted to leave and jake blurted out could he have my number oh there you go jake it's about time and the rest was history that was like six weeks ago god feels longer feels like forever in a way i can't i can't even remember how Long ago, it is. I'll be right with you, hello. Welcome to Red Line. I'm Yvonne, I'll be taking care of you today. There's a guy behind you, really? That's Nimrod. He's the idiot waiter in training, trailing me. Hi, I'm Nimrod. Hey. So are you folks ready to order or... Can I answer questions about the menu? How is the Santa Fe burger? Very popular. Okay, so, uh, which do you prefer the Santa Fe burger or the Natchez burger? Mm, that's a tough one. They're both really good. You don't have a favorite. Um, I guess I would say, look, man, she's a vegan, so what the heck? Are you doing no look what? 
you don't know about this amazing woman in front of you is that she's not a waitress. Can you please leave? She is a waitress, but only to put herself through school so that she can become an animal rights lawyer. Okay. No, not a crumb of meat or dairy has crossed her lips since she was five years old and she realized that a hamburger is just a ground up cow she spent the rest of her life trying to she spent the rest of her life trying to make the world a better place for animals and I love her I love her because she's the most beautiful that was beautiful Yvonne you're fired I need that job idiot I know did you say you love me, I did, idiot. Well, that was lovely. We gotta get on the road. Jake was always a good boy. He was even awarded a diligence pin at school. You remember still working on that. Nah, diligence at eight, can you believe that? It was quite a thing. His father and I never got awarded any such pin. At eight, at any age, true enough. At no age. I won a bunch of sports trophies. But never a diligence trophy. I don't imagine I knew the word diligence. At eight. But Jake knew it. You knew. Jake knew. Jake knew. Remember how excited you were about that diligence pin? No. He wore it to school. I didn't. He did. Every day, you did know I was disappointed. I want that cumin pin. Diligence is also, oh, is and also ran. You there, you worked very hard. You're not very bright, but we're impressed that you tried. Anyway, oh, don't be sour. It was a lovely pin, sweetheart. Jakey dessert. I made Jake's favorite chocolate cake. Lovely. Of course, I never turned down anything chocolate. Lovely, help me, I serve dessert in the sitting room. That's from my fair lady, that was you. Yes, yeah, she said you, he was. Uh, Nancy, you've been saying that one for years. Oh, you cannot keep doing this. You seem so quiet. You okay? Do you like them? They're very nice, very nice parents. You chose... Well, my friend, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, of course, they love you a lot, yeah, prime, importance in parents, I suppose, we've had our issues, Jesus, everyone's had issues with their parents, hey, what happened to Jimmy, oh, here he is, you're a stinky wet monster, huh, sorry, sorry about his smell, Jake, He's a dog. It's fine. Jimmy, hey, who is this? You can't tell. No, it's me. No, it was me. What well, wasn't it? Me. How, how? Sorry for the delay. Oh, God. Kitchen emergency. Don't you know? Well, here it is. Jake's favorite. To dot chocolate. You'll log. Mm-hmm. Even though it's well past you. Reminds me of when Jake used to suck his thumb. Well, past the age she went, he should have stopped. He'd say, Yule, 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 and he sucked it. Yule, log kind of looks like a thumb looks great. Enjoy. Thank you. It really looks amazing. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, God. I've been having problems with my ears, just in case. Any wonder is wondering why? I keep pulling out my ears all night long. More than a problem. Tinnitus, it is what it is. As they say, what is tinnitus? It not very much fun as it is, as what? Not very much fun, but poop happens as they say. I hear a kind of buzzing in my ear. Well, not so much a buzzing, more of a hiss. Well, more of a whisper. Oh, anyway, always, yes. As if I'm constantly being whispered to, maybe it's sharing the secrets of the universe with me, but I can't tell. 
Maybe it's giving me stock market tips. Oh, we'd be rich, sorry, sorry. I thought... It had been turned off. Mm, see my glasses? He you are, it's just a friend. Her friend calls a lot? Well, you can take it. You should take it. We won't think it rude. No, it's okay. It's not important. You don't know. It might be it's a blizzard out there. She might be stranded. It's okay. Is it a blizzard now? We, we don't want to get stuck. Stuck, stuck. It's okay. I've got the chains. I've, I've got work early tomorrow. Oh, you put the chains on. No, not yet, but they're in. They're in the bed. Chains should make it fine. What, I'm sorry. The chains, oh god. The whispers, I call them the night is the worst. What is night? Oh, night is the worst. I don't sleep much anymore. Oh, that sounds very difficult. I'm sorry, sorry, I just said I'm sorry. Oh, we're both saying sorry, you should take your call, though it could be if an emergency, it's fine, I, 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 I know what she's calling about, you should at least listen to the message, okay, sure, there's only one question to resolve, I'm scared, I feel a little crazy, I'm not lucid, how the assumptions are right, I can feel my fear growing, now is the time for the answer. Just one question. One question to answer. She's fine. Eh. What did she want? Oh, she was just calling to say hi. How nice friends are in. Ports and Jake never really had a lot of them. Growing up or even after. Remember your 50th birthday, 20th, what did I say, 50th, 50th, oh, goodness, where is my brain? Anyway, friends can be helpful, hmm, that's what I've always found, cause life can be difficult on a farm, doesn't get any easier, as it trudges along, I'll say that, what it doesn't. Get any easier, what doesn't life? Oh no, it doesn't, it's basically a fast train to hell for God's sake, mom. Alright, alright, yes, I'm overstating it. I agree, it's a fast train to heck your mother was always very funny. It's what I loved about her. I think it's the, the first thing that I fell in love with, kind of. Faded as she got older, wears you down. I guess it's not so funny anymore. I miss her terribly. Yeah, so Lucia is studying gerontology. Oh, really? How fascinating. Oh, fascinating. Yes, I've always been interested in the problems associated with aging. I think our society has an almost Repulsive relationship to the aged witch is an eminently foolish. Seeing that it's an inevitable and natural part of the life cycle of all living things. Not to mention it's terribly unkind. Oh, how interesting and compassionate. Oh, we've got to keep her, Jake. Oh, how kind she is. Boy, it's a... It's looking pretty bad out there, I don't know. Jake, I think we should probably Jake, Jake, what Jake? Uh, uh, I think we should go. It's looking pretty bad. I have chains. Where are you? Upstairs, I'm coming up, just letting you know. Jake, Jake, where are you, Jake? Coming home is terrible whether the dogs lick. Your face or not, whether you have a wife. Or just a wife-shaped loneliness waiting for you. Coming home is terribly lonely. Sorry, you you scared me. I'm sorry. This is Jake's childhood bedroom. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw the sign on the door. Oh, that. How can I explain that my memory is going, um... Early signs of, uh, uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, Louis... 
bodies, yeah, I think that's it. We've taken to labeling things around the home, you'll see. Labels all over the house, I haven't noticed, you will notice. I'm sorry to hear that you're, that's okay, truth is I'm looking forward to when it gets very bad and I don't have to remember that I can't remember, seems that that'll be a better way to, um, oh, come on. Yeah, they say that every cloud has a silver, silver, uh, that's it exactly, silver. They say that every cloud has a silver, and, uh, well, I believe that to be true. Oh, this is Jake's old room. You can stay in here tonight if you want his mother. And uh, I are an old-fashioned about that kind of thing, fricking and whatnot. Oh, I, I have to get home tonight. I have work in the morning. I know this bed looks a bit small for two. Um, oh, come on, uh-uh, grown-ups. It's a child's bed after all. Not even for twin children, just one single child, I'm sure. For a single night, you could make do. That's very generous of you, but I, I do have to. I imagine you won't be doing any fricking in this bed. Not really made for fricking. It's a child's bed. Just for one child, not two, right? Sure, I can. Find one of my wife's old, um, oh, things for you to wear tonight. Might have to dig through some trunks. Sure, I can find one of my wife's Oh, things for you to wear for tonight. Oh, look, there's Jake's old room. Jake, oh, it's the girlfriend. Open up. Jake, the snow, I need to leave. I've told him over and over. It's time for him to leave. Mom, you need to eat. It'll. I'll be down in a minute. Mom, Jake's always been a good boy. Mom, diligent, he... Want a pin? Maybe not as talent, naturally talented as some of the other students, but he works so hard, and that's even more impressive. Being a genius, genius mom, genius, the luck of the draw, really the genetic lottery, as they say. But to do as well as Jake did with no special talent or abilities. Oh, that's much more impressive. Mm, yes, maybe you should soon. Okay, we will leave soon. Let me just finish up here. Mom, I'm impressed with your attentiveness to your mom. It's rare. We tend to wear hats for our elderly. It's really special. How devoted a son you are. I'm glad you say that. That makes me feel better. Sometimes it feels like no one sees the good things you do like you're just alone. I see it all wait downstairs. Give you some privacy. I don't want to live in a warehouse. I should end this. Just end it. I just... Make a clean break, no lingering, no waiting for things to get better. You can only wait so long. I don't even know who I am in this whole thing anymore. Where I stop and Jake starts, I'm a pinball. My emotional state is bouncing all over the place. Jake needs to see as me as someone who sees him. He needs to be seen, and he needs to be seen with approval. Like, that's my purpose in all this in life, to approve of Jake, to keep him going. And he needs to see me as someone whose approval of him is validated because I'm approved by of by others. Look at my girlfriend. Look at what I won. She's smart. She's talented. She's sensitive. She can do this. She knows about that she made this. She cares about that. Let me just take him to the bathroom then. We'll go. I need to end it. Is that the girl? Yes, Dad. Louisa. Oh, good. 
I brought your mother's a uh, nightgown for her. That's very kind. I I have to go home tonight soon. Oh, I I don't understand what you mean. I don't know that I can't tell. I have my shift tomorrow. She's a waitress. Oh, we we met sh when she was serving me. It's a sweet story. I asked her about the Santa Fe burger. I'm feeling confused. Let's just get you to the bathroom. We don't want another accident. Remember last night? What's this old thing doing here? I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, it's filthy. It's got Jake's baby food on it. What's it doing here? I tell you. I would misplace my own head if it wasn't screwed onto my own head. Would you be a sweetheart and toss it in the washer? I just started to load my hands. Are full of picking up all these darn toys. Jake would leave his head on the floor if it wasn't screwed onto his own head. Sure. Where is it in the basement? I don't think Jake wants me down there. Jake can be controlling. You can't allow him to control you. I think the it's the other side of his type. Of his personality, this diligence thing. He needs to control everything. There's so many, many things that make him nervous. He keeps... Closing off more and more of the world, it's a problem, and the few people he does have left in his life need to follow all sorts of rules. It really is a problem, yes, I'm probably to blame, and all this guilt causes me to feel obligated to bend backwards to accommodate his every little whim. It's a vicious cycle, so what exactly are you saying to me? I'm saying take the darn nightgown to the basement. Live dangerously, you, you sent her down to the washer. Mom, really, you don't have to do laundry for my mom, your guest. And we will get uh, you a clean nightgown for tonight. I don't mind well. We really need, we really need. To get back on the road, I could, I could use some help with the chains. Alright, I'll be up. It's tragic how few people possess their souls before they die. Nothing is more rare in a man, says Emerson, than an act of his own. And it's quite true, most people are. Other people, their thoughts are someone's else's opinions. Their lives of mimicry, their passions, a quotation. That's an Oscar Wilde quote. There's only one question to resolve. I'm scared, I feel a little crazy. I'm not lucid. The assumptions are right. I can feel my fear growing. Now is the time for the answer. Just one question. One question to answer, oh my god. Jake is your mom, she's, she's asleep, she's, we should go, it's getting treacherous, are you certain she's alright, out like a light, it's a good time to go, what about your dad, he's, he's, puttering somewhere, the disposal's out again, it was great to meet you, it was great to meet you, thank you so much. For your hospitality. Oh, you're welcome here. Anytime. Yes, Jake's a good boy. Yes. Yes, yeah, a good man. I should say you agree. Yes, okay, then. Well, so did you like them? Uh, yeah, yes, they're very nice. Really, yes, they can be a little pushy, but they're basically decent people. That was eminently clear. They both loved you, by the way. That's good, I'm glad, so smart. My mother said, did she? Well, not to you. That would've 
made you uncomfortable, but um... Uh, when I was helping her with the dishes, I don't remember Jake helping his mother with the dishes. I feel uncertain about a lot of what happened tonight. It felt like when you and dad were discussing what it when you and dad were discussing it seemed as if everything was slightly tariffs right tariffs yeah i i do remember now i'm a little fuzzy you did have a lot of wine he was thrilled to have someone who knew the difference did i you did uh i don't think you noticed because he kept topping you off, did he? Yes, 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 right. I didn't notice that, yeah. Tricky makes it hard to keep count. It does as I was saying. All in all, I think everything went well. I think it was a successful visit. Mm-hmm, yes, everyone got to know each other. That's true, they're very nice. You like them? Yes, they liked you too. I think that... I think that's a good sign. It's a sign. Sign, sign, it perhaps is not the right word. The thing. Oh, the good thing. Yeah, the good thing. It's good. When people you like, like each other, people like to think of themselves as points moving through time, but I think it's the opposite. We're stationary. And time passes through us, blowing... Like cold wind stealing our heat, leaving us trapped and frozen. What are you thinking? I don't know, dead. I feel like I was that one tonight. Blowing through Jake's parents, seeing them as they were. Seeing them as they will be. Seeing them after they're gone. What are you when I'm only... When only I'm left... What are you thinking? Only the wind? Not much, really. I'm tired, Jake. The wine, I guess. Yes, you did. Have a lot. Yes, it is a depressant. As you know, of course I know. It's. It, I think it's important for people to have that in mind before they make decisions under its influence. A woman... Under the Influence, amazing film. I'm not sure I agree. I've been watching that film over and over for my essay. Do Wednesday, I felt a, a kinship with Mabel. I guess she's such a powerful, horribly wrong character. Is she? I think. Mabel Longetti is bombed out because she's always trying to please everyone so that she can be considered one more victim heroine for the women's liberation but only by women liberationists who are willing to accept textbook spin-offs as art the Juno Quest Gina Rowlands Mrs. Cassavetes is, is a prodigious actress and she never lets go of the character, I agree, I thought that she was great in the role. She seemed to me, she, she encompassed now at an indeterminate age when her beauty has deepened beyond in genuine roles. Rowlands can look you old or young shades of expression transform Mabel Longetti from a radiantly flirtatious beauty into a sad, sagging, neighborhood drunk Rowland's externalizes schizophrenic dissolution. Mabel fragments before your eyes. A three ring circus might be taking place in her face. Rowland's performance is enough for half a dozen tour de force, a whole row. Of Oscars, it's exhausting. Conceivably, she is a great actress, but nothing she does is memorable because she does so much. It's the most transient big performance I've ever seen. I guess I'm unclear what you meant 
by transient Mabel tries to slash her wrist. Nick puts a band aid on the cut. The idiot symbolism is enough to make you want to hoot, but this two hour and 35 minute movie leaves you groggy to do more than moan details that are meant to establish the pathological nature of the character surrounding Mabel and also to show her isolation become instead limp false moments it's unclear whether the characters are unconscious or whether it's Cassavetes who's on Conscious of what he's doing, the children keep murmuring that they love her. There's no clue as to how to decipher that refrain. Are they coddling her, revolting roles, and treating her like a child in need of reassurance? Or are they as, ashamingly, as unashamingly loving as she is? And what are, what are we to make of Nick? The pulper's constant assertions is assertions. Even a word, I thought it was assertions. They're both words. Look it up. L what are we to make of Nick the pulper's constant assertions of love? The, the movie is entirely tendentious. It's all planned, yet it isn't thought out. I do see what you're saying, you are certainly the expert on things cinematic, yeah I am. I, I guess I was just taken in by the sympathy that Cassavetes showed for her. I feel like maybe our society lacks a certain kindness, a certain willingness to take in the struggles of others, struggled with uh, issues caused by an alienating. Society, I don't know, uh, uh, I guess, yeah, it's a scene. Hopeless, what does all of it, uh, everything? Like feeling old, like your body is going, like you're hearing your sights. You can't see, and you're invincible, invisible, and you've made so many wrong turns, the lie of it all. What is the lie of it all? I don't know, that it's going to get better. That it's never too late. That God has a plan for you. That age is just a number. Shut up. That it's always darkest before the dawn. That every cloud has a freaking silver lining. That there's, that there's someone for everyone. Platitudes all shut up, Mabel. Sit down, Mabel. And God never give us more than... We can bear God's a good egg that way. Hey, do you want something sweet? What do you mean dessert? Didn't we have dessert at your mom's? I feel like there was this huge cake thing or true. I guess I'm a sugar junkie. I don't know. It might help me stay awake. Then definitely we need Jake awake for a bit. This is also treacherous. There's a Tulsi town. Just at the turn off, up ahead of Tulsi Town. Open now in this, it's freezing. It is perfect weather for a burr. Don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is Tulsi Town, huh? Jesus, I never thought of that before. What do you suppose Tulsi Town is based on the clown? I'd say it's a circus town, maybe like that place. Oh, where? The sideshow folks go to off season ruled by the clown lady. Ah, uh, well, yes, she wears a crown. She has a clown crown, a benevolent and tolerant ice cream clown queen made entirely of lactose. She is lactose tolerant. She's sweet but cold like your mom. What do you mean? Nothing. I don't know why I said that. That just... Came out, did you think of my mother as cold? No, uh, she was lovely, she really was, cause I don't subscribe to that. The mother is the cause of all 
psychological problems, crap, that's misogynistic, claptrap, Freudian bull poop, it is tempting to have someone to pin on it, though, pin on what, on all of it, why you feel a certain way, why you are a certain way, that's misogynistic, claptrap, Freudian bull poop, a person, an adult has to at one point or another, take responsibility for who they are, don't you think? Yeah, yes, mothers are people with their own pain, their own history of neglect and abuse yet at one time or another. During the 20th century, every freaking childhood trait was blamed on them, schizophrenia, autism, narcissism, Homosexuality, not that homosexuality is akin to any of those other things. Oh uh, yeah, of course not. Obviously, saying that a mother is to blame for her child's homosexuality is to imply that homosexuality is somehow negative. I was just saying that when homosexuality was considered a pathology in the DSM before 1973, a coddling mother was often seen as the culprit right. It's despicable how we label people and categorize them and dismiss them. I look at the kids. I see at school every day I see the ones who are ostracized there. Different they're out of step and I see the lives they'll have because of that sometimes. I see them years later in the town at the supermarket. I see, I can tell that they still carry that stuff around with them like a black aura, like a milestone, like an oozing wound, Jake, I'm thinking here to die, oh man, that's brutal, brutal place, the land of Tulsi town, the climate change here, To have you read the novel Ice, I don't think so, by Anna Kevin. I don't think so, 1967, it's a fable of sorts, about, let's just get the ice cream and go, it's freezing, wait a minute, I just wanna see who's on tonight first, you know the people who work here, some of them when I stop sometimes, after visiting my parents, I don't like some of the girls that work here, so I just wanna make sure what's wrong with them, I don't know. People can be cold to me. Uh, I'm gonna wait in the car. No, no. Say hello. They won't come if they know it's me. Hello, anybody here? In a minute, so ice takes place during uh, an environmental cataclysm, causing the world to become a frozen wasteland. And the main hi hi can I help you, sir? Uh, so yeah. I'll have a Oreo burr. And he'll have a same, uh, two of those, please, two sames, uh, sorry, uh, we need to get back on the road, so can we get them as quick as, as, as possible, uh, sorry, hi, sorry about the smell, they're doing some varnishing in the back, varnishing shelves, oh, no problem, I know, this girl, I've seen her somewhere, I've seen her before, her, her face, her rash, I know her. It's on the tip of my tongue, tip of my brain, as Jake says, she's someone. She's from somewhere, I'm certain of it. It's a freaking blizzard out there. Surprise, you were open on a night like this. It's a freaking blizzard out there, freaking burr in here. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking. The exact same thing, you're kind, you're not like them, vapid and mean and pretty, thanks a lot. I didn't mean it like that, I love the way you look, you, you, have a kindness, and of course, you are very attractive, I didn't mean it like that, it's okay, I understand, it's, uh, it's just, there seem, seems to be a certain hardness that comes, with a certain kind of pretty, you don't have to have that. Maybe they suffer to the pretty ones, I don't know, maybe. 
maybe their prettiness causes them suffering. I'm not a psychiatrist. What an odd to say. What odd thing to say. Of course, she's not a psychiatrist. She can't be more than 15. Made them extra high. Since you're so nice, thanks. That'll be eight dollars, please. Jake, keep the change. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, I'm worried. Excuse me, I shouldn't be saying this. You okay? Do you need me to call for help? It's not varnish. That's not why it smells. You should know that. What do you mean you don't have to go? I don't have to go where for in time. You, you can stay here. I'm very scared about what? What are you scared about? I'm scared for you. Thank you. Have a good night. Be careful. The roads are treacherous. You notice that girl's arms, which girl? In the Tulsi town, which girl? There were several, several, there were three. Several's anything, more than two. Really, mm -hmm. look it up, look it up. Can you stop saying that anyway? The one, the one with the rash all over her arms. I didn't notice you're being willfully uh, to stop my intention, not my intention. Anyway. How's the bird? Too sweet, yeah. It's sweet. I always for get how sweet these are. A little goes a long way. I don't think I can eat any more of mine. You barely touched it. It's very sweet. Yeah, it is a lot cold. Yeah, the ice cream, I guess. We're in the middle of a store storm. Whose idea was it to go to Tulsi Town? In the middle of this anyway, I'm not saying a word. How odd. This is probably the last time I'll ever be in a car with Jake. Soon this will all be a distant memory. We'll both be in different places remembering this moment. They shared laugh and maybe there'll be regret. Maybe time will soften. The harder edges and will both think that was sort of nice. Where did it have to end? And there's no way back at that point. There's never a way back. You got quiet all of a sudden just watching the storm. You can't even tell the other person what you're thinking. It doesn't bode well. Looks like you're done with it, what do you mean, bit of a waste to stop? At least I can say, I've been to Tulsi Town in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a snowstorm, that's something I'll never do again, a supposedly fun thing you'll never do again, yes, have you, have you read that, read what? It's a book of essays by David Foster Wallace. Nope, I have not. It's a book. A book of essays. Uh, no, I haven't read it. We should we f should find some place to dump these. They're going to melt and get the cup holders all sticky. Hmm. Okay, hmm. There is, he's got this essay in it about television. Pretty people tend to appeal. Pretty people tend to be more pleasing to look at than non-pretty people, but when we're talking about television, the combination of sheer audience size and quiet psychic intercourse between images and ogler starts a cycle that both enhances pretty images appeal and erodes us viewers' own sense of security in the face of gaze is that that's from the essay that's that's interesting he killed himself yeah yeah i think i knew that yeah everybody knows it even people who know nothing else even david foster wallace never were read word of his writing suicide becomes the story the mythology, the cautionary tale, it's obnoxious, it's obnoxious, I don't think we know how to be human, 
anymore. Who doesn't are society, our culture, people, whatever all this is. Any of us, well, have you ever read any guy did board the society of the spectacle? Exactly. Yes, yes, of course, did board says the spectacle can not be understood as mere visual deception produced by mass media technologies. It is a worldview that has actually been materialized. Watch the world through this glass pre-interpreted for us, and it infects our brains. We become it like a virus. Listen, these these melting things are are driving me crazy. They're going to get everything all sticky. Well, have you got a plastic bag or something? No, no, nothing. Like that, a napkin, maybe I want to find a place to dump them. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything around here. There is a small road up ahead of us that I know of. They'll be, they'll be a garbage can. I don't know, may maybe we should just head home to the farm. No, to the city, I'm worried we're gonna... Get stuck out here if we turn off the main road and get stuck. No one's gonna find us. It's not, I'm not going to feel right. If I don't get rid of these, it'll prey on my mind. Okay, poop. Poop, hey, hey. It's not, it's, it's not, it's, it's not a big deal, really. I know that aims, aims. I know that... Is that short for Amy? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't seem like my name or my nickname. Let's go here really quick and I'll get to show you my high school. This, this, this goes to a high school. My high school where I spent my every torture day for so long, for so god darn long. Can we just turn around? This doesn't feel right. I don't understand. It's just... Uh, high school. It feels wrong. I can't turn around the road. It's too narrow. I'll just get to the school. We'll dump the cups and we'll leave. Okay. No, I, I. I don't. I don't know what this is. It doesn't make any sense to me. How do school buses get down here? It's a rule. High school. Yeah, I went. I grew up on a farm. I went to a rural high school. We, there was a, there was a normal entrance with a paved freaking road. It's fine. Everything is tinged. Okay. That's the thing you have to realize. It's tinged. Colored by mood, by emotion, by past experience. There is no objective reality. You know there's no color in the universe, right? Only in the brain. Just electromagnetic frequencies. The brain tinges them. Yes, I am a physicist. I know what color is. Yes, 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 you are. You do color. It's the deeds of light. It's the deeds of suffering. That's beautiful. It's not. Physicists talk, but eminently poetic. Yeah, well, I am a poet. After all, you are. It's beautiful. This road seems... Excessively long seems that's the operative word time is another thing that only exists in the brain and Yet we get older older old and older older and older so it seems Sometimes I feel I'm much younger than I actually am like still a Kid inside until I pass a mirror Is younger better? I think so it's admirable Youth is admirable. How can you admire a person for their age? It's like admiring a certain point in a stream. It's healthier. It's brighter. It's more fun, more attractive, hopeful, like a Coca-Cola commercial. Almost all groundbreaking work in science and the arts is done by young people. Old people are the ash heap of youth. Listen, Jake, I I'm thinking that we need to, to-da. Wow, I didn't expect anything so enormous. 
130 classroom rooms, a gymnasium, two locker rooms, boys, girls, auditorium, 10 bathrooms, 6 administrative, offices, teachers, lounge, counselor center, it's regional, so 11. Towns feed into it, well you certainly know your high school like the back of my hand, there's someone here. School maintenance, janitor, something, uh, what their trash can. I knew it. Be right back, come on, good, yes, yes. Where were you? That bin was filled with road salt for the ice. I remember there's a dumpster on the other side near the loading docks. Mission accomplished, let's go. It's human to hear, kinda peaceful. More creepy than peaceful, I'd say. I don't agree, want to go. What's the rush? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, I've been like a broken record all night. Telling you that I want to go home. I've given you like 40 reasons why I need to get back tonight. I guess that's true. You guess, I just thought you know. It's peaceful and quiet here. Baby, it's cold outside, really. You're gonna quote a rape song at me. It's not a, it's not a rape song. She keeps saying she wants to leave. He keeps ignoring her. What would you call that she wants to stay? She's just afraid of what people think. She asks him, what have you put in my damn drink? Jesus, the song was written in 1936. It's not about roofies, roofies or not. He's trying to bring down her defenses with strong liquor. And anyway, they had Mickey's in the 30s. It's a song about Sir Kirsten. I don't know why you're getting so angry. I just want to go home to the farmhouse, not to the freaking farmhouse. To my house, Jake. My house, okay, thank you. And then when he, and then, and then he says, what's the point in hurting my pride? Like it's her job to make the guy feel sexually attractive regardless of her own sexual desires. Like that's, like that's her responsibility. I see that you have convinced me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's alright. Jesus. What, what? There was someone watching us. I didn't see anyone. Well, he was watching us like, like... A uh, gosh darn pervert, let's go believe me, I'm very familiar with that particular look, Jake, I just, what the heck does that mean? I'm going to give him a piece of my mind, Jake, don't be ridiculous, it's not acceptable, Jake, let's just go. No, you don't. I'll be right back. This, it, it's unacceptable. Let's go. Jake, let's just go. I'll be right back. Don't, Jake, don't. Please, Jake. Crap. Oh, I shouldn't have come. I shouldn't have come. Ah, uh, frick. It's hard to say no. I was never taught that. It's easier to just say yes. Anyway, sometimes you're just caught off guard. And the request comes... Can I have your number? And the easiest way out of it is just to say yes. And then that yes turns into more yes. And then it's yes, yes, yes. He's not a monster. He, Jake, he doesn't beat you. Right? Is I'm the certain the sex has been good. At least some of the time. Just how long does it take to get hypothermia? And eh, maybe it's not a bad Way to go. If I have to go, Jake, Jake. Jake, poop, poop, poop. Oh my god. Piece of poop, poop. Poop, poop. Oh god. Jake, Jake, I wanna go, please. Uh. Oh, hello, hello. I'm sorry. M my boyfriend came in here. I think. He went to school here a while back. Maybe you know him. I, I. I don't, I don't know when, if. You were here when he was a student. I mean, how would I know anyway? I haven't seen anyone around here. Have you? What does your boyfriend look like? It's hard to 
Describe people, it was so long ago. I barely remember, I mean. We never even talked is the truth. I'm not even sure. I registered him. There's a lot of people. I was there with my girlfriend. We were celebrating our anniversary. Stopped in for a drink. And then this guy kept looking at me. It's a nuance. The It's a nuisance. The occupational hazard of being female. You can't even go for a drink. And always being looked at, he was a creeper, you know. And I was thinking, I, I wish my boyfriend was here, which is that sort of sad that being a woman, the only way a guy leaves you alone is if you're with another guy. But like if, like you've been claimed like your property, even then. Anyway, I can't remember what he looks like. Why would I? Nothing happened. Maybe it ju was just... Maybe. I think it was just just one of those thousands of such non-interactions in my life. It's like asking me to describe a mosquito that bit me on an evening 40 years ago. Well, you haven't seen anyone fitting that description, have you? I haven't seen anyone. Okay. I mean, except you, I see you. I'm, I'm a little worried about him, I'm sure. There's no need. He's safe if he's here, it's safe in here. It's quiet, is it okay? If I look around for him, maybe take your wet shoes off. I've just cleaned the floors, no, they're yours. Bye, yeah, yeah bye, Jake. Jake, Jake, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, come join me. It's not bad once you stop feeling sorry for self because you're just a pig or even worse, a pig infested with maggots. Someone has to be a pig infested with maggots, right? It might as well be you. It's the luck of the draw. You play the hand you're dealt. You make lemonade, you move on. You don't worry about a thing. That song has always made me cry. I've always loved it. There is kindness in the world. You know, you don't have to search for it, but it's there. You're kind. Eh, I'm just evolving even now. Even as a ghost, as a memory, as dust, as you will. We're the same. Everything is the same when you look close enough. As a physicist, you know that you, me, ideas, were all one thing. Let's get you dressed. Thank you. Thank you. I accept. I accept it all. Accept your acknowledgement. This award. I accept all that it entails. That this award comes near the end of a long, fruitful life in acknowledgement for the work I did. Decades ago, my quest has taken me. Through the physical, the metaphysical, the delusional and back, and I have made the most important discovery of my career, the most important discovery of my life. It is only the mysterious equations of love that any logical reasons can be found. I am only here tonight because of you. You are my reasons. I am. You are my reasons. Thank you. Uh, among us. <laughs> Funny among us. Uh, among us. Among us. Among us. Uh, sus. Sus. Among us. Among us. Uh, Funny. Funny among us. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, sus. Uh, when the imposter is sus. When the imposter is thinking of ending things. Am I right, guys? <laughs> ah!